Um, so, uh, like you said, uh, reclaiming the city in a way, but uh, with the help uh, from uh, the Urbac uh, program. So, uh, we've engaged in this program um, uh, with uh, the lead partner, which is the uh, city of Rika, with their example of uh, the NGO house or social cultural center in our case, and with partners from Syracuse, uh, Brighton, Espo, and Santa Paula, and with uh, the help of uh, lead expert uh, Lavente uh, Poljak. Uh, the main idea of uh, this whole um, uh, project is the main premise that the NGO's ho houses or social cultural centers are very concrete examples of public civil partnerships and a solution to, to strengthening the NGO, stabilizing their work in cooperation with the municipality by at the same time sharing the resources resources with the local community and at the same time sharing the responsibilities between public and civil partners uh, and giving the civil partners a more a powerful advocacy position towards uh, not only local bodies. So uh, in, the in the last uh, decade of their organizational development, um, the NGOs in Croatia have been preparing and taking the next step in developing public civil partnership in the forms of uh, social cultural center. As you already mentioned, the Bromley has a problem with uh, over tourism, uh, which means that you, it usually reflects to the public uh, spaces that are being commodified, commercialized, and that the space for a civil society, a local community is actually shrinking. But at the same time, you need to know that the Bromley has a very strong um, NGO scene which is at the very same time very uh, fragmented and at the sa very same time communication between the municipality and the NGO scene is still in uh, need of uh, improvement and stabilization as well as uh, just strengthening the capacities and knowledge about what means to be in a civil public partnership or what means to lead or to develop uh, participatory uh, governance, especially in uh, culture and when uh, leading these centers. So we went uh, from uh, taking these very uh, successful cases in Dubrovnik, which is platform for Lazarity. Uh, on your uh, left side, you can see uh, the whole Lazarity complex, these 10 buildings that uh, are in front uh, in the vicinity of the old uh, town of Dubrovnik. Uh, platform for Lazarity is an official advocacy association, which uh, is uh, consisted of five NGOs, which are residing and or working in complex complex society continually since the 1990s. Um, basically, they're uh, dedicated to developing the idea of Lazarity as a horizontally integrated um, social cultural center, which is at the same time open to the needs of the uh, local uh, community. On your right side, you have a fairly new actor, uh, spatially meaning. Uh, this is a youth center uh, Dubrovnik, which is consisted of uh, 11 NGOs, and they uh, call themselves a civil public uh, co collaboration uh, platform for developing and providing programs for youth. So basically we entered this uh, project um, with the representatives of the city of Dubrovnik and Dubrovnik uh, development agency um, in order to uh, just start communicating in order to start uh, basically sorry uh, basically learning all about these different dimensions with our partners from all over Europe uh, in how to strengthen these social cultural centers and strengthen the communication of all the partners um, the first maybe uh, important thing that you need that we've taken from this project is that you need to scope the NGO ecosystem uh, in which you are basically developing these uh, these uh, centers um, uh, and just start networking, start uh, collaborating with the partners that you have never collaborated before. And uh, in this way, uh, mapping of the NGOs in Dubrovnik became a very interesting theme to us to be explored and we started uh, doing it. Uh, it helps not only the NGOs to connect and share resources but at the same time it helps the city administration to better understand uh, the ecosystem of the civil society and to better prepare the public the public uh, policies on a national on a, on a local and national level at the same time 
Another uh, very important aspect uh, was uh, internal alignment, meaning uh, that we needed to find uh, the governance models of these centers, which suit uh, this idea of securing active, equal and regulated participation of everyone involved. Uh, uh, both um, uh, the national, the main issue was that the national top-down policy recommended formants of the civil pu uh, public partnership in these kinds of uh, spaces were recognized by the Dubrovnik centers as being too formal and too potentially bureaucratically overburning to the core burdening uh, to the core uh, to the core uh, uh, business or the, uh, to the core uh, working of uh, these NGOs and these uh, centers. So basically, each of the centers began began from their local uh, point and context uh, in order to find suitable collaboration model that will help them to communicate be better and collaborate uh, as NGOs working together, but at the same time with the city of Dubrovnik as the owners of these spaces. So in the end, we just concluded that social cultural centers are largely defined by their local context and uh, communities. Basically, there are new, no two NGO houses or social cultural centers uh, like. Um, so uh, following that premise, uh, the governance model and approach to the civil pu public partnership needs to be adjusted to its local uh, context, capacities, and the needs of the local community. They need to uh, follow modalities of governance, not models. Um, and at the same time, they need to be, uh, these protocols of governance and cooperation need to be flexible and, and permeable enough not to be an additional burden to the actors involved. They need to respect the autonomy of everyone involved, the equality of every uh, partner, and they just need to follow an uh, organic growth of collaboration that is already uh, there. Uh, great help came basically these two illustrations is the co-city cycle from the expert uh, Christian Yayon and the uh, whole uh, the right to the coast city movement that he is leading in uh, Bologna and at the same time this idea of uh, holocratic organization which is uh, very strong in uh, just uh, uh, being uh, suggesting and developing this uh, idea of horizontal decision making structure with the working groups with the flexible uh, governance etc so after we've done all this after we've uh, strengthen our inner uh, in uh, workings, uh, we were able to open up even more to the local community by, uh, for example, uh, these uh, illustrations here that you can see, uh, Platform for Lazarity, for example, in the summer 2019, implemented their first call uh, to, for uh, citizens and other NGOs to apply with their activities to be organized in the platform spaces. Uh, so we've held basically activities which were related, for example, uh, for uh, uh, for uh, meetings of the citizens in uh, planning of the management plan of the old city of Dubrovnik, uh, some other NGOs that uh, were uh, needed uh, needing the space for their activities, exhibitions, workshops, etc. Uh, and that, and uh, finally, after going through this process, uh, this call was uh, transformed into an online and offline tool for opening up to the spaces uh, even more. Uh, in uh, here, you can see Lazarity Guide, which is some some. Sort Sort of a short pamphlet in which the whole complex society is uh, described alongside the organization working there. For example, their program contacts web pages um, in order to just open the spaces of society to the wider community and help them get in contact with the organizations. Uh, this form is also available, like I said, in an online form. And Basically, as a, as a short conclusion, uh, going through this process uh, now uh, two and a half years, I think the communication between uh, the, the partners, civil and public partners involved in this project and other uh, projects we are uh, conducting as well has bettered the communication between the actors because it gave them uh, uh, a chance to accomplish continuing and structural communication and collaboration of, on very defined uh, goals. Um, this bonding has several uh, examples in practice. Uh, one was advocacy action oriented towards the re-establishment of the Civil Society Council for the city of Dubrovnik. There was an appeal to the mayor regarding budget cuts due to the coronavirus crisis, uh, planning of the future projects or crossover uh, exhibitions and projects between these two uh, centers. But maybe uh, on a local national policy uh, change, uh, it just demystified in a sense, this very scary notion of participatory governance uh, and um, 
coming back uh, to your uh, research, um, I've all, uh, here I've um, uh, quoted uh, uh, an exter excerpt from our new projects, bottom up cultural policy, a new policy, culture and spaces and so sociability, in, through which we aim to uh, gather this learning and bottom up experience into uh, 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 local uh, cultural policy, that basically the democratization of the public resource management and development of the policies uh, based on uh, uh, citizen and civil society participations are the mechanisms that strengthen uh, transparency, reduces corruption, and ensures that public resources are managed in the interest of the local community. And at the same time, I think this project showed that the NGOs are the ones who are able to mobilize, for example, these resources as uh, such in Urbect in order to influence level um, uh, of uh, policy change, of policy uh, transformation, uh, of uh, creating concurrence between uh, local and global policy agendas, as you've written in your uh, research, and just to stabilize this whole idea that participatory governance is nothing, uh, nothing really scary, but actually very needed and very useful. Um, so that's it. Uh, questions are very welcome in the end. If you have some, thank you very much.